Greetings everyone. Welcome to the 5th episode of Corporate Law Updates by Corporate Law Journal. In today's episode, we will be discussing pertinent notifications and circulars released by SEBI, RBI and CCI. Let's start the session by regulatory updates on Securities Exchange Board of India. On on 31st August 2020, SEBI released a circular on relaxation from default recognition due to restructuring of debt. The circular is applicable to all the credit rating agencies registered with SEBI. For information of you all, credit rating agencies recognize a default based on the guidance issued through the SEBI circulars dated 3rd May 2010 and 1st November 2016. SEBI circular of 30th March 2020 provided relaxation from the recognition of default owing to the moratorium permitted by RBI and the imposition of nationwide lockdown due to COVID-19 pandemic. The Reserve Bank of India through its notification of 6 August 2020 provided for a resolution framework for dealing with COVID-19 related stress based on the assessment of credit rating agency that is the CRA if it is a view that the restructuring by lenders or investors is solely due to the COVID-19 related stress or under the aforementioned RBI framework the CRAs may not consider or recognize the same as a default event the above relaxation is extended up to 31st December 2020 In another circular dated 31st August 2020, SEBI provided temporary relaxation in processing documents pertaining to foreign portfolio investors due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The circular is applicable to number 1, all foreign portfolio investors through their designated depository participants or custodian of securities. Number 2, designated depository participants or custodians number 3 all recognized stock exchanges or clearing corporations number 4 all recognized stock exchanges and clearing corporation in international financial services centers number 5 the de- depositories number 6 stock brokers through the recognized stock exchanges number 7 depository participants through depositories and number 8 kyc registration agencies SEBI on 30th March 2020 through its circular had prescribed temporary relaxation in processing of documents pertaining to FPIs due to COVID-19 pandemic for those SEBI through its circle of 23rd June 2020 extended these temporary relaxations up to 31st August 2020 as per the representations received from various stakeholders it has been decided that for the entities from jurisdictions which are still under lockdown the temporary relaxation shall be extended to these entities till the time of lockdown is lifted from such jurisdictions With respect to the entities in jurisdiction where lockdown is lifted, the relaxation provided under the March 30th circular shall not be applicable. SEBI, in another circular dated 1st September 2020, on the review of debt and money market security transaction disclosure, which shall come into effect on October 1, 2020, is applicable to all the mutual funds, asset management companies, trustee companies, board of trustees of mutual funds, and association of mutual funds in India. SEBI through its circular dated 28 February 2012 prescribed the format to disclose all the details of debt and money market security transacted in its schemed portfolio on a daily basis with a time lag of 30 days. In order to enhance transparency, it is now decided that the details of debt and money market securities transacted in its scheme portfolios shall be disclosed on a daily basis with a time lag of 15 days in a revised format. In another circular of SEBI dated 2nd September 2020 on the review of provision regarding segregation of portfolio due to COVID-19 pandemic the circular shall come into force with immediate effect and is applicable to all the mutual funds asset management companies trustee companies board of trustees of mutual funds and association of mutual funds in india as per the sebi circular dated 28th december 2018 segregated portfolio can be created in a mutual fund scheme by the asset management company in case of a credit event this include instances of downgrade to below investment grade and subsequent downgrades in credit rate think RBI also permitted lending institutions to extend the resolution facility to borrowers on account of covid-19 related stress SEBI through its circular of 31st August 2020 provides that if the credit rating agency that is a CRA is of the view that the restructuring by investors or lenders is due to covid-19 related stress or under the above RBI framework CRAs may not recognize consider the same as a default 
Further, the data proposal for restructuring of debt revised by the AMCs shall be treated as a triggering date for the purpose of creation of segregated portfolios. The AMCs will immediately report to valuation agencies, credit rating agencies, the venture trustees and AMFI of receipt of the proposals for restructuring of debt. Coming down to the next circular dated 2nd September 2020, SEBI talked about disclosures on margin obligations given by way of pledge repledge in the depository system, giving a little purview of the backdrop. SEBI, through its circular dated February 25, 2020, issued guidelines on acceptance of collaterals from clients in the form of securities from trading members or clearing members by the way of margin pledge created in the depository system. In this pledge system, the securities don't leave the investor's DMAT account. Instead, a pledge is marked in favor of the broker. The broker is then required to open a separate DMAT account labeled TMCM Client Securities Margin Pledge Account for this purpose. However, after considering representations received and in consultation with the market participants, it was decided that in order to facilitate the ease of doing business, disclosures specified under Regulation 29, Subsection 4 of Takeover Regulations in, in relation to shares encumbered with TM or CM as a collateral from clients for margin obligation in the ordinary course of stocking broking business is to be dispensed with. Now discussing the major developments of Reserve Bank of India, a committee under chairmanship of K.V. Kamath submitted its report to RBI. The Reserve Bank of India, as part of its statement on developmental and regulatory policies, released along with monetary policy statement on 6 August 2020, a resolution framework for COVID-19 related stress, under which a special window under the Prudential Framework on Resolution of Stress Assets was proposed. A committee under the chairmanship of Sri K.V. Kamath was formed by RBI to provide recommendation on required financial parameters to be factored under resolution plans under prudential framework on resolution of stress assets. The committee has submitted its recommendations on 4th September. The recommendations has been broadly accepted by RBI. RBI, as per recommendations of committee, specify the five specific financial ratios and sector-specific threshold for each ratio in respect of 26 sectors to be taken into account while finalizing resolution plans. The committee recommendation are drafted keeping in mind the effect of COVID-19 pandemic on various sectors of the country. Now let's discuss the recent IBBI guidelines for appointment of insolvency professionals as administrators under the Securities and Exchange Board of India, appointment of administrator and procedure for refunding to the investors regulation 2018. IBB and SEBI agreed upon to use a panel of IPs for appointment as administrator for effective implementation of SEBI appointment of administrator and procedure for refunding to investors regulation 2018. IBBI need to prepare a panel of IPs and SEBI will have the power to appoint the IPs from panel. A panel will be valid for six months and new panel will replace the earlier one. The panel will have further zone-wise lists of the IPs. Now let's discuss the eligibility criteria for an IP to be included in a panel of IPs. Number one, there is no disciplinary proceedings whether initiated by the IBBI or IPA of which he is a member pending against him and he has not been convicted at any time in the last three years by a court of competent jurisdiction. Number two, he expresses his intention to be included in the panel for the relevant period. Number three, he undertakes to discharge the responsibility as an administrator as and when he may be appointed by the SEBI. Number four, he has made the compliance under Regulation 7, Subsection 2, Subclause CA of the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Board of India Insolvency Professional Regulations 2016 for the year 2019-2020. Number 5. He holds an authorization for assignment, AFA, which is valid on the date of expression of interest. And IBBI accordingly invited expression of interest from IPs for the aforementioned purpose. Lastly, let's discuss the updates from the Competition Commission of India. Recently, CCI approved the acquisition of Metso's Mineral Business by Autotech. CCI approved the acquisition of Metso's Mineral Business named Metso Minerals by Autotech, two strong and close competitors in the market for iron ore palletization, equipment island in India. As an effect of this acquisition, all such assets, rights, debts and liability of METSO that relate to primarily to serve its mineral business that is comprising the mining, aggregates, 
mineral consumables, mineral services, pumps and recycling business will be acquired by Autotech. However, this acquisition is subject to modifications that are aimed at eliminating the likely anti-competitive effects of the proposed combination. The Commission, while inquiry found as many as six competition concern arising of this acquisition and was of the view that the proposed combination would reduce competition and confer the combined entity the ability to increase price. But the parties proposed voluntarily remedies and modifications after which the commission noted that VRP voluntary remedy modification given by the parties eliminates the overlap between the parties in the IOP segment in India and would effectively transform Metso's Mineral India straight grade SG IOP capital equipment business to the suitable buyer thereby preserving the competition.